Hello, my name is Joe Dillett. I'm going to do a demonstration uh, carving a family history mantle. This is a mantle for Terry and Jeff, and uh, it's got their family history. Uh, they sent me a bunch of photos and uh, uh, both email and regular photos. We had a meeting, I did a drawing. The drawing is now uh, with all the changes that they wanted, and uh, uh, they approved it, so I'm ready to begin the carving. On the ends of the mantle, uh, there's a 45 degree angle that this thing is could uh, be, uh, right now it's fitting into a corner, but the mantle, if it gets moved uh, to another family member, it's going to be trimmed here. We didn't want to lose any of the history, so on the ends uh, of the mantle we're making, uh, this is the other end, the same kind of uh, mirror image design of uh, evergreen bows and uh, uh, pine cones. And so uh, after the drawing now is approved, uh, I'm using the graph paper here and uh, I'm going to transfer the drawing to the wood using the graph paper. So we've just about got the drawing all transferred. All I'm doing is this a very rough sketch here. Uh, this is the graph paper. We'll take that out. Then when we take off the drawing, this is the full size drawing, I have got reference points. Now I will take and redraw it and refine the details a little bit more so I can uh, better see where I'm going. I'm just finishing up the drawing here now with a magic marker and this is just a basic guideline uh, so I will follow it but uh, uh, the lines are not real accurate I will be uh, deviating from it if I need to And this is just a coat of arms on this side here. Now the customer needs to supply me with information on what goes in these squares, uh, which of his relatives worked at the Elgin Watch Company, which was the mailman, the two ladies quilting, and so forth as we go down. We're going to document all those things. So I am ready to start roughing it out. This is where the deep carving stops. This is going to be the evergreen design here with the uh, pine cones. So here we're looking at the drawing, specifically the bridge, and uh, in the carving phase, right down here, that bridge I've uh, decided right here uh, to make the bridge, and I'm going to turn it the other direction. I'm going to have it deeper here than here where on the drawing I had it uh, different but uh, it just seems to be fitting the scene a little bit better. Also right now I'm determining how far to go in. Right here I'm uh, right now uh, almost four inches deep. Uh, the mantle is seven inches deep total and I'm a little bit over halfway through it. So it's in this rough out stage of the mantle that you're re really determining the picture, how the flow is going to go. And you're trying to visualize uh, let's, how this mountain is, for instance. I want this ski lift 
to be uh, not to be a major player. I don't want it to be a focal point. What I want to be the focal point is a lady on the rock here. I want that bridge to be the focal point and the coat of arms over here. And so now I'm taking the large V tool. This is a large uh, 45 degree uh, V tool and uh, that's what I'm going to uh, start roughing in this river with here. Now it's changing the direction of the bridge so it's deeper here than here. I need to uh, shift the direction of the river. The river is heading down now in this direction. I'm going to come out and going to curve going this way. Now I'm roughing this out and I'm using the large number three chisel because that makes nice straight cuts. And I'm gauging my depth by, because uh, the buildings have to make contact with the ground. So that's how I know how deep to go. You can see how I'm trying to maintain my drawing this corner uh, by uh, uh, just switching the directions. I will work the corner in as I go, but I'm trying to keep that corner. If I lose it, I know it's right at the edge of the sign. You see when I was roughing out, I didn't go and do that little notch here. That's something I can do later. It's just easy to make a straight line there. Here I did notch it out because I wanted to see. I didn't want to lose the width of my uh, steeple on the thing. That was a stop cut for this cut as I'm working the roof back. Then as I work the roof back I'm I'm just trying to get the front part of that roof right here. Now there's some detail on the roof. I'm going to have to be careful I don't go too deep so I don't lose the stock to do that little detail on it. Typically what I do is I slope the buildings out a little bit. It's a little deeper here than it is on top. I don't make it too noticeable, but that increases the 3D effect. It makes the top look a little bit deeper in. I'm using the corner of my chisel for right where that bottom of this here little steeple is going to be. So the town that we're doing is uh, Fresco, Colorado and uh, I'm working off of a photograph right here. So this building right here is going to be this building. This one here is going to be that one. That building right there is this one back here. This 
fourth one way back here. You can just barely see. So I'm going to really push that to the background. So what I'm trying to do now is to kind of look at the height of the buildings before I put too much detail in the thing. And there's more of a separation between these two. So this one's going to have to go a little bit deeper. But also the building is too tall. So uh, compared to what it is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise up the bottom of the, uh, I'm going to move that ground back a little bit more and make that building a little bit deeper and keep the roof line about where it is. So this is the angle I'm going up. I'm going to continue that same angle up. That's the stop cut. So you kind of see where I'm going there. That's my stop cut. And then that's the ang other angle here. So I've shortened the building up. Now I just have to move it back a little bit more. Maybe I'll get a little bit smaller chisel. Still a number three. That's almost flat. But I can do that side in one cut with that. Now that's where the corner of that building is right there, so I'm just... Go back and look at it, and that is about the right proportion, the height of that building to the height of this. Uh, now I'm going to move the rest of these back. This one here is further down the street, so it tucks behind this one. So I'm going to tuck that one behind. I'm going to go back with the big chisel and work this. I'm just working the ground back. Keep working the ground back. And through this whole process, not knowing exactly where I was going in the rough out stage, I didn't do any undercutting. If I decided that I had to go deeper, which I did here, if I undercut behind that roof down, then that building would have been getting shorter. So I go straight back with no undercutting. So I don't do any undercutting until I know exactly how deep everything is going to be. So now I'm tucking that building in behind, going a little bit deeper. Just working more on the perspective of that roof to make it go smaller, smaller. Now I'm just going to add a little hint of that fourth building. That's all you can see in the picture, is just to barely make it out. It's way down the road. Before I add too much of that in, I'm going to do the road.
smooth this off a little bit more in the foreground. And then I will do the road. So the road now is going to be going right back. I want the road to come across here. I want it to go behind the gazebo and continue on the scene. That road is kind of coming from the bridge that's on the, the uh, uh, left side here. There. So I'm kind of getting into that last uh, building there. And just clean up my lines here a little bit. And. Uh, So everything is just kind of fine-tuning as I go along now with the chisels. The back side of this roof here, you can see it's not uh, real straight, so I just take my chisel and I'm going to follow this curve going up that angle. Still not in undercutting, I'm going straight back in. This plane I'm going on is the same as this plane of the front of the building, following the same plane. This plane here, I am going the same plane as the side of the building.